Right then. This video, in theory, should have been a continuation of another one. Could go back to when I mentioned that, maybe. So, I think the A5 is fixed. Don't seem to be flaring between gears and stuff like that. But now, I'm just stopping at another place, which will be on a different video, I'm assuming. But, basically, I went and had a look at a couple of race cars. One for me, one for Scott, and uh, yeah, they were pretty good. So part of the arrangement was going and having a test in them. Now we're not kicking the tyres on them, so we've got the Luton van, which is empty in the back, and an empty trailer. We've got our trailer that's empty, the Amarok, which is empty in the back. So we'll go have a look at them, see what they're like, and uh, Maybe when I'm there we'll talk a bit more about the history of them and what have you and what they're based upon or maybe we'll do it afterwards, I don't know, we'll see Let's see what today brings One and two, he didn't have to wait You alright? Not too bad They're here Beasts We've put our uh, Yoker Amazon Accurate test. This one's going to be on slicks. He's seen us. He's here. Check it's not full. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Stickers on both. Let's get out of this. Get some race gear on. So these dashes are logged. First impressions, very good. Nice place to be. Scott's going out again after some more fuel. We peak crew are off. Okay, mate. What are we getting? Normal, unleaded, or is it fancy? Super unleaded. Super. Low expense spare.
Got a good go. Right, guys, spoilers are doing that. All right. Cars are there. Drive shaft, drive shaft. Bumpers. Plenty of things. Probably dig it out when we get to the workshop and see what we've got. I'll try and get that on there, which I don't think. It's going to go on there. We'll see. One a minute. Dark, we're all loaded up. Paul's having his crafty fag. See us back at work. So, this is the day after the day after the track day. It finished late on, I didn't get in until probably half 11 on Tuesday night, then I have Wednesdays off. So, anyway, we're back. Prematurely brought on round here, which will be the next video. So, we'll talk about that in a bit. But, really happy with how the cars performed couple of little issues that we want to address um, the main difference in them was I don't know if it were clear from the footage because me and Scott swapped cars as well but one of them we left them on the Ankoop slicks which these are the VW Cup uh, specific tyre which is a pretty similar size to the Yokohama AO52s that we run on our race cars so we put these on just to see what the difference in basically compared to the Golf, because these, these cars are very similar to how the Golf originally was, because the Golf was a VW Cup car before as well. But obviously we've gone a bit more mental with all the Verkline stuff and all that. We just wanted to see where we were. Um, not 100% sure on lap times, but for certain, both of them weren't quite as quick as the Golf, but the one on the slicks, not much slower. They were, I'd say, Looking at where we were, sort of cornering and stuff like that, there's probably a second and a half difference in the slicks to these tyres, which considering these were nearly dead and they're not in very good health, not too bad. So from what Jelly was saying, who bought the cars, or where the cars come from, um, he, um, he reckoned that them tyres were probably a second slower than they would be. And I reckon these get probably when they're absolutely worn like these are, probably a second and a half slower. So there's definitely a bit of difference in the tyres but these these are definitely quicker than the Golf in a straight line but because these are probably nearer to class S than they are class A um, I don't think they'll be at top of class S so yeah I think there's a bit more weight to come out of them a bit more um, maybe they might want a little bit more power I'd be happy to leave them as they are seems like plenty of power but yeah, we got the testing, we're exactly what we wanted to do. The cars are pretty much faultless. Obviously, in the cold light of day, they're not perfect. They're used race cars, so we've got a little bit of stuff to do. They both want windscreens, which, fair enough. That one we know has had a little shunt in the rear end, so that wants a little bit of tidying up. Might want a boot floor in it, not too sure, but not really bothered. Um, so yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll talk about why they're here in the next video, which I'll be filming straight away. So if you watch one after the other, it will be nearly seamless. So yeah, and uh, then in the next video, we'll talk about the history of these cars and why they look like they do and what have you. So anyway, we'll go from there.